Vertigo, deemed as the highest water slide in the world, situated in Aqualandia, Europe, the rider starts off on top of a trap door that opens with the push of a button. From that point, the freefall begins. Riders fall from a height of over 33 meters and reach speeds of 60 miles per hour. However, this ride caused a life-threatening injury to park visitor Jamie Norman, who was left with his severe injuries to his face, legs, and arms. As he stepped into the capsule, eagerly waiting for the trap door to open, Jamie had no idea what was coming. The door only opened a fraction of the way due to malfunction, and Norman was forced down a tiny hole at high speeds, ripping up his face, arms, and legs. The staff immediately took him to the side and told him they would stitch his face up. The pool was filled with a red mess, and somehow the staff reopened the ride just 10 minutes after the incident. It wasn't until a few days later that the ride would be shut down for good. Number 4 Shoot the Rapids, which was shut down a couple of years ago, was a water slide located at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. After its grand opening in 2010, the slide became a fan favorite to thrill seekers all over. Based on a western theme, riders would board a raft which fit up to 10 people. The slide featured two drops with the second one crossing under the first. However, Shoot the Rapids didn't last long before it was shut down after a life-threatening incident. The infamous ride was ultimately shut down after Raft accidentally rolled back down the drop and flipped over in the water after the ride malfunctioned. Seven people were thrown off the raft, stranded in the water as park operators quickly turned off the ride. Cedar Point officials reported that six of the seven boat passengers on the ride were treated at the park and were released with minor injuries. However, one person was taken to the hospital for further evaluation before being released. But wow, that's definitely one of the scariest rides in history. Number 3 The Aquasphere, located in Peninsula Aquatic Recreation Center, is one of the most dangerous water slides known to mankind. After many thrilling twists, turns, and flume sections, the raft enters a small sphere where riders climb the wall up to a 90 degree angle before crashing down to the bottom and continuing on. However, as you can all guess, this ride had many problems which would result in the water slide being shut down. According to reports, one kid was allegedly thrown out of his raft while riding up the wall inside one of the spheres. He was completely limp after falling off the raft at a 90 degree angle, and the impacts left him unconscious. But this wasn't the first time the slide was shut down after an injury. In the past, the slide has severely injured two young boys, had its pipe burst, and injured two adults who hit their head on the ceiling of the slide. Number two. Cannonball Loop Slide, located in Action Park of Vernon Township, New Jersey, the Cannonball Loop Slide is one of the most dangerous water slides known to mankind. Action Park, which was opened from 1978 to 1996, was filled with rides that defied the limits of physics. At least six people lost their lives at the park's attractions, and countless more were injured, earning the park the nicknames Accident Park, Traction Park, and Class Action Park. Cannonball Loop was built in the mid-1980s and featured a 360-degree vertical loop as you all can tell, this seems like a recipe for disaster. Employees have reported they were offered $100 bills to test it, but $100 may not cut it if it means that you have to risk your own life. It was open for just one month in the summer of 1985 before getting shut down by the state's advisory board of Carnival Amusement Ride Safety after reports of countless injuries. Let us know in the comments if someone were to pay you $100, would it be worth a ride on this daredevil ride? And finally, number one. Verrucht, which is German for crazy or insane, was a slide at the Schlitterbahn Kansas City Water Park. Verrucht was designed with two drops, the initial being a 17-story plunge with a 5-story uphill midsection, making it one of the most tallest water slides in the world. The grand opening of this slide was delayed for a whole year due to its safety concerns. Test sandbags sent down the slide when airborne at the slide's second drop, where the crafts they were on reached speeds of 70 miles per hour. However, the ride was closed down forever following a big news story of the passing of Caleb Schwab, a 10-year-old boy who was thrown from the raft and lost his life in August 2016. Witnesses report hearing a large bang and then screaming, shortly followed by a gruesome scene which started to come out of the bottom of the ride. After this accident, Kansas changed its laws on amusement park safety to require that all attractions be inspected by the state. Several individuals were placed on trial and behind bars, including the park's owner, the operations manager, and a co-designer of the ride. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.